Hello parents and carers, it's great to uh, be doing another one of these video messages for you and to uh, stay connected in this way. If you haven't had an opportunity yet to see the very first of our Golden Awards celebration worships uh, in our virtual school, then I'd encourage you to see that. It's up on our YouTube channel now. It's obviously a very important way in which we want to celebrate, to come together uh, virtually as our St Osith Church School family. Uh, it's been great to celebrate the children's achievements achievements and their hard work and their learning in that way. In fact, just prior to recording this message, had some lovely, lovely positive feedback about um, just how good that is really as a way to celebrate together through that Golden Award celebration worship. So as I say, I'd encourage you and the, uh, your children at home to watch that and to uh, kind of enjoy it together as a way of us being together uh, during this difficult time. Now, during this week, it's also been good to see our intervention starting up. You know, lots of you will know that we provide children, small group, individual kind of bespoke support, really, uh, for their learning and other things. So it's been great to see those this week. And particularly pleasing is the really good attendance at those. We know it's uh, another period of time to support their learning, but this is what lots of children normally have in school, and it is really important for them. So it has been great to see so many children at those interventions uh, and with all the things that we're doing with our virtual school I thank colleagues that are involved in running those. Uh, now you may be aware that uh, this week we've also been visiting lots of families as we have over the last few weeks in fact uh, when we added them up I think we're at somewhere over the 60 visits over the last few weeks to families and children it's been lovely to see those families and children as we've gone out and about on the road to be able to support them in different ways including distributing lots of devices so that then we can see uh, more children attend virtual school have their well-being supported in that way and their learning as as well. Uh, I have to say we've had a few other interesting things this week like uh, chickens trying to uh, knock on classroom doors, peck at classroom doors. Uh, we've let them out of their run for some of this week and they're obviously keen to come and join the virtual school as well. So I know some teachers have had those pecking at classroom doors trying to break in to lessons. You can imagine uh, the kind of fun that ensues with that. Next month we know is LGBT uh, plus history month, something that's been running since 2005. We're very pleased to support that and to celebrate that and to promote it. Very important part of our whole society and us and our church school family. So we're very keen to do that. Uh, and one way that we're going to do that is to be sending home next week some information from the library service, which has some great books, great resources and all sorts of things on there. Uh, if you're not aware, the library service offers all sorts of uh, great sort of books, including e-books and e-audio books almost all of which uh, I think are free if you've got a library card. So that's a great uh, thing to do and to celebrate next month. And as I say, uh, to remind you really that uh, those services are available for free from a local library, which is great. Now next month, so that was, that was that's next, that's next month. Uh, next week, however, is National Mental Health Awareness Week. So something we want to uh, enable children to have and encourage them to have. We know that things are tricky, they're difficult at this time. They can't meet up with their friends in the same way and their families in the same way. So next week, we're gonna have a particular focus on that. You'll find that focus comes through in PE lessons. So Mr. C is leading those. There'll be a particular focus on mindful this, mindfulness and how can they can be calm and relaxed uh, and really sort of have a good well-being. We're also going to be doing things in our RHSE lessons. Uh, so you'll find that Mrs. Hennessy and others are supporting those children exploring their feelings uh, and uh, sort of how they can feel well, how they can handle their feelings and respond to the way they're feeling. So they don't just sort of deny them or bottle them up, but actually it's about understanding and how to handle them and uh, the kind of healthiness of feelings as well. So that will happen in our RHSE lessons. Now, there's also an idea that actually it's about celebrating what children do uh, to be happy, to have enjoyment, even during this difficult time. So uh, what we're looking to do is if your children want to, they may create a short video, it'll have to be a short video, of something they really enjoy doing, something they get well-being from, something they find happiness through doing. Uh, from some of the visits today, we can tell you that some children are involved in racing pigeons, 
or uh, something that I could never do uh, about taking a motorbike apart and putting it all back together again, which is a fabulous practical skill to have. So whatever it is, dancing, a hobby in school, music, whatever it might be, uh, if your child or children want to, uh, to take a small video, uh, then that would be great. And I think Mr. C will be sharing next week how they might be able to share those videos. So just another way of supporting the children's uh, mental health and their well-being. I have to say, as we come to the end of uh, this third week of our virtual school, we're keen also to encourage yourselves as families and indeed all of us as a team to get out into nature, to enjoy some fresh air. We have some great coastal walks, great and lovely countryside, and it's good to get away from the screen, isn't it? To have a complete break from, uh, from work and for the children from their learning. So uh, as I end this message, I would just encourage you to go enjoy all that lovely area that we've got nearby and to have a great and safe weekend. Take care.